been in such a state, I was taking control of the situation. By taking control, you mean manipulating? That is so not true. Really? Look at the evidence. It's what you do. There was all that stuff with charity before when you faked the accounts, which led to Robert coming in, which led to you faking a whole lot more stuff so that you could rip off Graham and look what happened! You know exactly why I kept you out of the loop then. Those were completely different circumstances. What about going behind my back with Juliet? Does that relate in any way? I say do one thing, you ignore me and do the exact opposite. These days I'd be hard put to get you to say anything. All you do is obsess about being charged. Which you said was never going to happen. And I was wrong, wasn't I? It's what I was hoping to, believe it or not. Epic fail on that one, then. Look, either way, this is where we're at now. We have to accept it. I accepted it from the moment the copper said, can I have a word, Mr King? Your solution, Charity Dingle. Jimmy, you've been charged. And the only way forward is to sign that contract. Oh, you know what you can do with your contract. So it's true. You've been charged. I heard that right, yeah? So we're just walking in without knocking now. Oh, I could hear shouting. I was concerned. So we're not allowed our privacy anymore. Is there anything you don't want to take from us? Why don't you take the car while you're at it? How about the telly? Take the telly! The DVD player's nearly new and all! Jimmy, I thought something might be wrong. Well, you got that right. And now you've just made it ten times worse. So you've been charged. It was in the news that someone had, but they didn't name you. That's why I'm here. What the hell's it got to do with you? What are you talking about? It was you who said I should be spending more time with Carl because you might end up in prison. Not helpful. Well, it's true. I'm just asking for some clarity. My entire world is crumbling round my ears and you want clarity? Well, yeah. You know, so I can explain to my son what's happening when they cart his dad away. Juliet, this isn't the time. Have they said when it'll go to court? You're really not listening, are you? We have to decide how we're going to deal with it. There's no we in this. You don't get to come in here and interrogate me when I'm in the middle of a conversation with my wife. I could hear you halfway down the street. You show up, turn my life upside down, and now you expect me to answer to you. I want to know what's going on, that's all. For Carl's sake. Get out! Jimmy. I mean it. Get out now! And you don't come round here again without your call first! Calm down, will you? Don't you tell me to calm down. You're the one that walked in like you own the place. I was just trying to get some information. You came round here for a good old gloat and some unallotted time with Carl, more like. Do you don't think I see what you're up to? OK, now you've been stupid. What did you say? Jimmy, seriously. Did you just call me stupid? Is everything OK? Does it look it? Does everything seriously look as if it's OK? Hey, take it easy. Hi. Hi, love. You, inside now and go to your room. You didn't have to snap at him. Go away. And if you want to come round here again, your phone first. Do you understand? Well, if that's the way you treat him, be sure it isn't the end of the matter. I mean, what is it about me? Why do people treat me like this? Meaning what, exactly? Well, like I'm some sort of sap. Like it's fine to walk all over me. It's happened my entire life. First my dad, then my brothers, and now... With me. Yeah, I get it. Oh, you're no surprise. Every woman I've ever been with has stabbed me in the back. Why should you be any different? All right, I've had just about enough of this. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it bothering you? What? The whining and the self-pity? No, why would it? You want to try five minutes in my shoes? I am in your <laughs> shoes, Jimmy. We all are. Stuck here with you trying to sort out the mess you made. So you sell my business from under me? I didn't have a choice. How many times do I have to keep saying it? I am not signing that contract. Well, how else do you think we're going to raise the money to keep Carl with us? What, here, in this happy home with a dad who's gone to prison and you for a stepmother is better off with Juliet? Great, something we can agree on then. Because if you're not going to bother fighting for him, then why the hell should I? Carl. Mate. <sighs> 